So about a month ago, I came across a channel called East of Honey, and it is by a woman named Rosie who creates collage art, particularly surreal and abstract collage art. And she has such a great eye for collage and is very talented and inspiring. We've really been enjoying watching her channel and she's inspired me to apply collage to my critter world. So I will show you my first piece. And I also put a link in my description to this video to a couple of Rosie's videos that I highly recommend you check out. And I thought I would post my first piece. Um, I didn't film the whole process or anything because I really didn't know what was going to happen, if it would turn out decent or not. Um, I basically started by flipping through this book that I recently got, and it's this beautiful book about the history of food. And the pictures in here are amazing. I thought this picture would be really cool to use. I love how this woman is pouring grain into this big pot and just the color of her skin and her costume is really cool. And I thought it would be really cool if she was pouring this gold or grain on top of a critter home that pops up in this field of grain and just looks magical. Then I thought, well, let me cut this bowl out of the picture too and make it look like the grain that she's pouring is a big field of grain and what would be more perfect than putting the Highfields farm from the Sylvanian family's collection into that field of grain. I then flipped through the book and found this really great photo of this field of sunflowers and it has some house in the background and then the color just matches the golden grain so beautifully. So I was hoping that this would be perfect to incorporate into the background. Here you can see a bit of the process. I split the sunflower field in two so I could kind of widen it a bit in the scene. And then where she's pouring the grain, that'll cover the gap. And I really think the grain looks great with this background, like a nice golden field. So I'm trying to fit everything together, and then you'll see how I take a cutout of Highfield's farm and fit it under the pouring grain. And this is another tip I picked up by watching Rosie, is you take an X-Acto knife and you cut a slit into one of the papers so that you can overlay it with something. So now it looks like the grain is being poured over the house, and I think it looks fantastic. But I wanted to add something to the sky and some more critter whimsy. So I turned to another book, a version of Snow White, illustrated by Charles Santor, flipped through it, and I found this page that has these birds, and I thought maybe I could cut out a couple of these birds to put in the sky and have little baby critters flying on the backs of the bird. So I'm adding one bird and I cut out a little baby critter deer and we'll put that right up to fill in the sky a bit. And then another bird has the new release fennec foxes that are going to be coming out this month and I put one of the little babies on top of that bird. I think this nicely fills in the gap in the sky there and adds another dimension of critter whimsy. And here is the finished piece. I will be trimming that sky blue edge off of the right. I just think this looks really magical with the golden field and the sunflower background and the woman pouring that green over the Highfields farm. It just looks like gold dust. So magical, like the farm popped up in the field. And I love the birds with the critter babies flying in there because it's just another piece of whimsy um, as part of this collage and I thought it was really fun. Um, I'm gonna keep that open in case I find something even cooler to put up there, but overall, I think this is a really colorful piece. Uh, her costume looks great, and the lighting on her face looks great, and I'm pretty happy with it. So this was a really fun way to add art to my critter hobby, and I've wanted to do something like that, and Finding East of Honey's channel was so inspiring. I'm really thankful to her. You'll definitely see how she inspired this piece if you watch some of her videos. And I hope you really enjoyed and found whimsy in this critter collage.